Hello, welcome to a new rip. Hello, welcome to a new repair essay. We have a Google Pixel 4 XL and we are going to change the battery. That's it. Let's see how easy it's get, going to get to be opened and how repairable it is. It's been a while since I opened the Google phone. The last one was, I think, the Pixel 2. Yeah. I put it on the heating platform. It's hot. And yeah. Let's just start with the repair. Drip some alcohol in the corner. It's going to get sucked in. Hopefully no one's going to disturb. So then we're going, going underneath carefully. We do not want to scratch the color of the painting of the back glass. Good, feels good. Feels like this is going to go to open very smooth. We don't know what's inside, so we don't put the card too much deep. Just a couple of millimeters. Either the adhesive is good and stick again, or the adhesive is going to be crap. We'll see. Come on. Okay, that's nice. Awesome. Okay, we have a little bit more light here. We have a focus issue. That's never happened before. Okay. Now we're gonna. Okay, look at that. What is there something? Oh, we have a flex cable. Yes, good. That's why we are careful with inserting tools. Good. Look how nice. Look how nice that is. Um, bad thing is, this is probably not reusable. So I'm going to use the amateur glue method, which a lot of people are whining about. Oh, look at that amateur. Good. Uh, I couldn't find a proper source for battery, but I told the customer, you know what? Just go on the search engine you like, and I'm sure you'll find something. The quality, I don't know, but if you find a battery, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna install it in your board, and that's how it is. That is the battery. VHBMW. Uh, I don't know. Should work. Shall work. Yeah. Enough of the soaking. So the phone looks actually pretty nice and it looks like it's pretty repairable. You know that to build some series, the what was it? There's another four or was it a five? You have to take the screen off to get to the battery. Not like opening an iPhone, it's if you've never done it, then there is always a possibility that you can damage it. So we have special screws. Let's see if my T4 works. No. Or was it? What is it? it works. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot here. Again, T4. No, too big. T3. So what do we need to disconnect to get access to that to the the battery? Not much. If you look, we just have to take this out. Let's just leave it at that. Take that cover off.
Good. Disconnect. And the battery is disconnected. This may be one of the easiest phone to replace the battery, but we will see. Mm, where does it start? Where does it? So now we have to try to get the back uh, battery out. So the question is how? Here we have a stripe. Let's see if we can. Grab on that. Or not. <clears throat> so, I think we need a little bit of alcohol here. Not too much, please. Because chances are. Is there an OLED screen or does it have a. Let's look that up. Does it have an OLED or LCD screen? XL It has an OLED screen 90 Hz HDR 3.6.3 inch 1440 3040 pixels 537 ppi density Very good <clears throat> We are not doing um, crazy stuff here because let's see if we can grab a tool and sneak inside somewhere. What is that? Is that a trick here? Something to rip off to take the battery out? That looks interesting. We, we, we do not have this, or do we? What is that? It's on the new battery. It has some soldering. I don't know what. It looks like there is something soldered to somewhere. Interesting. But to where? Is that going underneath? What is that? No, I think it's just a little resistor or maybe for Okay, now we know that we have an OLED screen, we can use a little bit more alcohol. I'm trying not to go mad because I do not know what's going to happen let's take our shovel carefully mm -hmm. We do not know what's underneath. Are there any flex cables or... That's pretty good. Hmm. 
good. Okay. Let go. Okay, here we have the straps. Oh my god. The straps pullers like we had on the iPhone. Let's try that. Let's say the battery is still inside. Hmm. Yeah, the next time you are smarter than the first time. Oh my god, what an amateur. Never seen something stupid like this. I'm, the, I'm gonna unsubscribe from this channel. The question is, will it come out? I don't know. That's not really giving on. Yeah. I don't know if that will work good, but they're not flexible like the iPhones. Oh, yes, they are. They're really sticky. Definitely. Good. Now that the battery is out, see, we had some flex cable, so watch always out before you, when you grab underneath. But in this case, we saw it here that we had a flex cable. A good spot is always on the side of the frame because here it is strong. You can put something in there. Never on the mold board. You may puncture or squeeze the main board, which is not a good idea. Okay, let's see if there is some adhesive. No, there is not. Who needs adhesive for a battery? Not a big deal. We have some great M.3 adhesive. This is, I think, 0 0.2. No, zero. should be 0 0.3. I don't know. Very thin, but not too thin. Now we're going to install the new battery. We're a little bit out of focus here. My camera is in a different angle. So do not put it over the flex. We will also put three here. They're also going to stick very great, but the differences between those who are inside is if you put a little bit heat on, it comes off relatively easy. We didn't try that here with this one. Maybe this one also, but... Well. Oh, we should have test before, test the battery before you take it in. In position. Connected. Connected. Let's just test. We can charge it. A small charging sign. 17%. 4%. Okay. That's how it is charging. A little bit of a. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, maybe it doesn't like my charger. I don't have, which I, but we're charging with uh, 0.4 amps, uh, 1.4 amps. 
we just stay at 4%. Let's try to turn it on. It's been a while since I, yeah, already mentioned. Okay, just a dog here that booted up pretty fast. Should be a very clean OS. So 1.4 amps. Can be that I have, don't have the right charger. Let's try another one. I have an anchor. Also works good with Samsung phones. And if that other one doesn't work, this one works always. Not just, nothing changing. Now we're back to 15%. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about this battery. But yeah. You should charge it to 100%, make it empty a couple of times, the first four or five times, then the, the, the ions, the electric ions in the lithium battery uh, gets reactivated and they can uh, handle the, get the full capacity. For a new battery, it always takes a couple of charging cycles until it's at its state where it should be. So we're gonna turn off. Word Haronta Gefarn. Good. The machine works. The machine works. Okay, it looks like this adhesive is strong enough. I think we can reuse that. Come on. The red side, yes, it is. So, testing is was successful. Everything is very clean. So we are gonna reuse that adhesive. Uh, any anybody says anything else? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that amateur. Then just do it different or make it better. Yeah. My phones, which come back sometimes, can happen. Uh, and I have to reopen them again. And maybe there's a liquid damage happened. The water never gets onto the frame, between the frame. If there's a liquid damage, you can be sure the microphone is the input, the charging port, or the speaker port here. That is where all the liquid comes inside. Never a back mess. Believe me. Okay, mm, interesting. They have the front grill, a little bit like the iPhone, which is kind of nice. So, I like the design from the Google Pixel. It looks like it's a solid phone. And, yeah. So, enough talking. Enough talking. We're gonna put this back together. That's it. So, if you're not wobbling all the time like I am, then you probably should be able to do this job in uh, yeah 20 to 30 minutes easily good to know we have on this plate three different screws the big ones here which has a, a shaft before the screw starts the 
I always forget the name. Gewinde. In Austria we say Gewinde. Good. Now we're ready to close this up. Make sure nothing on the lens. Cover back on. We are going to put this on a heating platform. And then we're going to put the clamps on. I'm going to put it on the heating platform for two minutes. 75 or 60, 65 degrees, depends on, if you have a back cover, it's enough to take 65 degrees. If you have a plastic cover, then it will go a little bit up because plastic doesn't really um, transfer the heat very well. Okay, I think that's it. As I said, I'm going to put it on a heating platform, some clamps on, and that's the end of the video. Uh, Google Pixel 4 XL, very easy to replace a battery. So thank you for watching and see you the next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.